Hey guys, it's Patty here, and today we're going to answer one of the big burning questions that sometimes comes up around Lufeneron. Um, sometimes there's this question because there's misinformation online that says that Lufeneron has never been proven to treat fungal infection. And so this post, this video, is about um, showing you the patent, the actual patent. It is in the public domain. I'll show you how you can even find it. But we're here right now on the page and um, if you once you find it, we'll put the links below. You're going to see these three images here, um, some de descriptions of the invention, background on why it works, general description of it, um, how effective it is, how it's worked on tons of tests, um, and then patent citations, information, etc., etc. But I created a little presentation to share with you, and real quick you'll see that the patent was actually filed in 1999. Um, if you look at this document, you will see that they've been using it in veterinary care since 1996, which means that they've uh, known about it even before that. So I'm going to start my little presentation here uh, and explain about pharmaceutical lufeneron. Um, pharmaceutical lufeneron is what people are using right now in candida cleanser to have some radical life-changing health shifts, positive shifts. And when a drug is first discovered, it is given a chemical name which describes the atomic or molecular structure of the drug. Um, the chemical name is usually too complex and cumbersome for general use. So then they start to create these shorthand versions of the name. Um, so N-benzoyl N25-dichloro-4-hexafluoropropyloxyphenylureas became shortened to benzoylephenylurea, and then it became uh, created into lufeneron. Now, here is the original patent. If you're watching this on your phone, take a screenshot, or if you're watching it on your computer, pause and jot this down. You can find the original patent listed in the public domain, and you'll come to this page here, and it talks about the invention, and you can access um, the actual documents yourself and read the whole document. And in their words... The invention allows a therapeutic treatment of a variety of fungal infections. These may include systemic infections as well as topical fungal infections. In particular, and by a preferred embodiment, the present invention allows treatment of skin fungal infections in both humans and animals, nail or genital fungal infections in humans, eye fungal infections or ear fungal infections in both humans and animals and others. Particular examples of fungal infections which may be treated in accordance with the invention are caused by dermatophytes, such as those of the genus Microsporum, for example, Microsporum canis, which cause various skin fungal infections of the skin, nails, or hair. Those of the genus Aspergillus and yeasts, for example, Melisesia or Candida. So this is in the original patent that you can find and see in these three pages right here. But I wanna to zoom to the second page. This is where that block that I just read is. And it also talks about all these ways that you can administer the composition. And remember, it is a composition, it's a compound. It's technically not even really a drug because it's inert to the human body um, in its form. So. Now, this is page three of their document, a little zoomed in closer, and this page basically goes through all of their testing of all the thousands of animal testing that they did with Lufeneron, and you can read through every single one of these paragraphs, and basically every single one of the animals that had fungal infections were cured. There was one dog that got infected by something during its first treatment. So they gave him a second treatment and then it was gone. <laughs> so it's very, 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 very effective for fungal infection. 
um, you can read it yourself. So what does this prove? Why am I showing you this? Well, one, it proves that the pharmaceutical company proved <laughs> that they could treat fungal infections in humans and animals with lufeneron safely and effectively. And then this also proves that lufeneron was never released by that company for human use to treat fungal infection. They did not want us to have it. Why? Well, pharmaceutical companies make billions of dollars on drugs that people have to continue to refill over and over again. Like every month, like they take it daily. And so these are your niastatins, your diflucans, your fluconazoles, uh, all the azole medicines. And not only that, these drugs only suppress the symptoms, really. They do not address the systemic issue, and they can cause damage to your liver in the process. They are processed through the liver. Lufeneron is not processed through the liver. And we have people in our Facebook group who have shared that they had to take uh, one of these other prescription antifungals and it made their liver swell up so much they thought that they ruined it and they had to do all this liver detoxing. So um, we have evidence to prove this too. So why is Lufeneron available now? Why is it available now? Well, you'll find this in that first page when you go onto the link to the patent and you scroll down a little bit and you'll notice down at the bottom left corner there they paid a fee in 2004. They got a reminder to pay a fee in March of 2008. They lapsed and failed to pay their maintenance fees in August 29th of 2008. And so the patent expired due to failure to pay your maintenance fee in October of 2008. Uh... Well, I'm pretty stoked that they did that. Thanks, big pharmaceutical company who dropped the ball. Um, they forgot to pay their bill, their fee for their patent. And now people like me uh, are pretty grateful for that. This is before and after photos. The only before photos I could find of my body were from Burning Man because I used to be a professional hider of my body. I would never... Uh, let myself be photographed when I <laughs> did not feel good in my body. I hid myself, social anxiety, terrible. And uh, so on the, on the right there, you have photos of me at Burning Man with 25% more weight on my body than I do now. 25% of my own body weight, extra. And then on the left is just a few months ago from this year, uh, me feeling amazing, vital, healthy, young, younger than I did in my 20s. Um, I'm pretty grateful. And I know Hannah is very, very grateful as well. She's in our Facebook group and she shared her story in the video, uh, video interview and blogs that you may have seen in our channel. And of course, Misty, she's the one who used to have chronic migraines, and now she continues to keep losing weight. Um, the last time I checked in with her, she, she has continued to lose weight as well. And here's that Candida Cleanser support group. Again, just to remind you, come in, come hang out with us and watch the stories. Stay as long as you need before you feel comfortable or jump right in. Here's just a few more comments that I just found just today before I made this video of people who typed these comments in just today. Somebody shared that they were about to start. I'm looking forward to getting rid of this horribly crippling brain fog. I'm always walking around like a zombie, haha. Anyways, wish me luck, everyone. I'm so thankful I'll have all of you for support. I'm going to need it. It is so supportive in there, so please join. And somebody else came in and said, oh, I have my bottles, I just haven't started yet, give me some support, you know. And here were some of the comments that came just for that person who was saying, I'm ready to do it, I just haven't yet, so cheer me on. Uh, here's some comments. The changes are great and will leave you asking, why didn't I do this sooner? Good luck. You can do it and you will be so grateful when you finally take the leap. I'm on my eighth day after my first five days of treatment and did not do a pre-cleansing diet. It's rough at times, but definitely worth it. I've lost eight pounds and I'm actually looking forward to round two. Go for it and just allow whatever happens to happen. These were just from today. These comments were just from today, the day that I post this video um, and share this with you. So 
Are you ready to join us? Definitely subscribe to our channel and then go to the website and come join our Candida Cleanser support group on Facebook. All of these links are below this video so you can access it all below. I'll also put the link to the patent below. And I thank you so much. I appreciate all of you for watching these videos. It is truly an honor to hold this space for so many amazing transformations. I am so grateful for Candida Cleanser, an amazing company, amazing people behind the company who have given me this opportunity to create content with them to share with you. And, um, you know, I remember meeting the founder of Candida Cleanser, one of them, and he explained to me, we're kind of like Robin Hoods. And we know that this is one of those things that there are people out there who do not want others to have access to. And so that's partly why you have me as the face of Candida Cleanser. I don't I don't own the company. I am a customer client essentially who became so passionate about helping all of you. And I believe this is a huge epidemic in the world and before this, before my own health crisis, I had been asking praying for a way to be of service in a way that could really help people and that's what I'm seeing happening now so thank you I'm so honored so grateful and I wish you all happy healing much love bye-bye